the thing that strikes me as a father of a young child is what a natural scientist she is. And the real reason for that is her curiosity, pure curiosity. And when you look at the, at the best scientists around, what you find is that's the one thing they share. They're deeply curious about something. Uh, I'm Tim White. I'm a professor of integrative biology and director of the Human Evolution Research Center here at the University of California at Berkeley. And these are my desks. Because I got two. <laughs> When I was a little boy, I went to the L.A. County Museum and they had these display cases, I'll never forget, where you walk along the display case and it was just tooth after tooth, one after another of this, and I thought, wow, what I wouldn't do for just one of those teeth. This is human heritage. It's a way to get at reality, this fossil record, without having to resort to science fiction. Some 4.4 million years ago, a, a creature who walked on two legs, we found over 100 pieces of her skeleton. Not really an ape, not a human. That's why we gave it a new name, Ardipithecus ramidus, and we, have been studying this creature ever since we first encountered it back in 1992. It's a 4.4 million year old fossil, and so we're getting pretty close to that split point between ourselves and chimpanzees. People still get really interested in where they came from. It's genealogy writ large. notion that, you know, we, we're walking out across the desert and then we go, oh, what's that to bump my foot, you know? And then you pick, oh, it's a skull. Well, by gosh, you know? It, and that's, that, that's not the way it works. We, we spend a lot of time identifying where to go. And what makes the Rift Valley country so productive is that you have these geological forces that are actually pulling the crust apart. And due to the fact the earth is continuing to pull apart, these rocks pop back up to the surface. Of course, that's what makes us go back. It's, it's, it's like it's some bizarre form of gambling, I suppose. You, know? <laughs> you never know what was hidden the last time you were on an outcrop. This is the first rib of Artie. This is a replica. We've extracted it now. But uh, these bones were so fragile, they're like chalk. And so we made a pedestal by digging carefully around them with dental tools. And then we popped those out and transported them to this laboratory in Addis Ababa where we sat with the fossil under a binocular microscope for hours on end to slowly take each little grain of matrix away until you end up with the bone. And at the same time, you know, you got a lot of focus on the hominid, but we had 6,500 vertebrate fossils. Parrots, peacocks, shrews. We can put the organism in its ecological and evolutionary context. And, and that's a much bigger enterprise to, to pull out together. So when we eventually published, it was something like 47 authors. I was asked at the at AAA, asked, you know, could I have prepared it faster? Sure, sure. I could have, I could have turned a garden hose on it, you know, and I'd have had the teeth, and then I'd have been able to publish those really quickly. <laughs>
you can chop them into segments and then put them on bamboo skewers with tomatoes and onions and then you just uh, shish kebab and it's a, a very nice addition to the normal uh, camp fare. So we, we had a few puff adders at Laitoli. The study of human origins has been controversial since before it was even a study of human origins. Darwin comes up with this idea that humans are linked to the rest of life, right? And how do the cartoonists characterize Darwin? 1871, that's an original print. Look what they do to Darwin. They put his head on the body of a chimpanzee. Why do they do that? To make the point of how absurd this idea is that we evolve from a chimpanzee. Well, Darwin got that. Darwin never said we evolved from a chimpanzee. Darwin said it would be a mistake to project any living organism back as what our ancestor was like. Instead, we need to find it through the fossil record. This is the earliest Homo sapiens. So, you know, you've come a long way from 4.4 million years ago with Artie up to this is about 155,000 years ago. And that's the, that's the big lesson here is these are the, the co connections between ourselves and the rest of life.